Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my weekly cleaning routine. I'm going to be sharing with you my cleaning checklist, which feel free to use this for yourselves if you'd like. I'll be showing you what I do on a daily basis to get my whole house cleaned throughout the week. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and let's do some cleaning together. All right, so here's a look at the new cleaning checklist that I'll be using. We have a weekly cleaning checklist and a deep cleaning checklist. We also made a separate cleaning checklist that you can download with weekly tasks in case you don't wanna use the daily one that I have here. I know some of you have way different schedules and routines than I do, so we just wanted to make something that anyone could use. Now you can download these for free on my website, amydarley.com, and I'll also leave a link for these in the comments so that way you can find them easily. Now throughout this video, I'm taking you through what a week of getting the whole house clean looks like. And I did film this video right before Christmas, so you'll see we still have all of our Christmas decor up and my kids were at home, so they were helping me in the background do a lot of the picking up of their own things and taking them upstairs. Next week, I'll be sharing a video of taking down all of our Christmas decor and how we organize it and everything too. So be sure to stick around and subscribe so that way you don't miss any of those upcoming videos. I've got lots of decluttering coming up and hopefully it'll all motivate you throughout the year. Now for day one, which is a Monday, my checklist includes a quick tidy up around the downstairs. We usually have a ton of things thrown around from the weekend and it all just needs to be picked up and put back where it belongs. So you can see while I get started on the kitchen, which is the next item on our cleaning checklist is to get the kitchen clean. My kids are actually helping in the background by popping all the balloons that we had for our little balloon arch and also getting all of their things that they've been playing with, especially Gracie June. She has a lot of toys downstairs. So she's taking all of that and putting it in a basket and they're taking all of that stuff back upstairs while I finish cleaning the kitchen. So as I continue to clean the kitchen, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Do you currently have a weekly cleaning routine that you follow or do you just kind of wing it and clean whatever you feel like cleaning that day or whatever needs to be cleaned? Also, do you clean your house, your whole house in just one day or two days or over the whole week? I'm just curious to see what works for you guys. So I designed this particular cleaning checklist with the schedule that I wanted for myself in mind just because I used to try to clean my entire house in two days. I would do the upstairs, the entire upstairs one day, and the entire downstairs one day. 
And although I was only cleaning two days a week, that was great. However, I found that on those days, I wasn't really able to get anything else done before the kids got out of school. And I try to get all of my work stuff done before the kids get out. So that way, after school, I'm pretty much running them around to sports or we're spending time together or, um, you know, just doing all, we always have some sort of event or something. So I try to do all of the work stuff and cleaning during the day while my kids are at school. And those two days of the week were just, I wasn't able to get anything else done. So I decided to tweak my schedule a little bit and do my weekly cleaning checklist over four days. And this way it's not necessarily taking up my entire day. So we're going to see how this all works out. I feel like it'll give me a lot more time in my days and it'll just be a little bit of cleaning each day. And then for my deep cleaning, I'm rotating that by zone each week. And so if it's a day that I'm cleaning the bedrooms and I'm in those that zone for the week for deep cleaning, then I'll do a deep cleaning. So you'll see um, I was actually doing a deep cleaning in all the bedrooms this week. So that is the zone that I was in for my deep cleaning checklist. Hopefully all of that makes sense. If you have any questions though, just let me know down in the comments. All right, so the kids have picked up all the clutter down here. So now I'm just doing a little bit of tidying. Um, there were some shoes that were left underneath the table, so I put those away. I'm gonna wipe down the table really quick, the coffee table here, and fix the blankets and pillows on the couch. I'm also gonna vacuum the couch. I have the Dyson V15 Detect Vacuum. I love this thing. It has so many different attachments, so I can use it as a handheld vacuum as well. So that's what I'm gonna do here on the couch. and. Um, we do have three cats. They don't all, they're not always inside, um, but two of them love to sleep on the furniture. So they kind of climb around on the back and then they take naps on the couch. You'll see them throughout my videos sometimes, but I definitely need to clean the couch or vacuum it at least once or twice a week. The next thing on my Monday checklist is to go through the refrigerator, clean out any leftovers or anything that needs to be thrown away, and also kind of take an inventory while I'm in there. I do look at the fridge and the pantry, and then I go through and make our weekly meal plan. So here I'm writing it down as a list, but I do put this in my planner as well. And then I will go through and order all of my groceries on the Walmart app. I do a pickup for Tuesday mornings. So I'll order all of my groceries, make sure that we have everything that we need for all of our dinners in the app. I feel like for my type of brain, this is just so much easier to look at than if I were writing it down on paper or even putting it as a note in my phone and then walking through the grocery store. I feel like I just get scatterbrained and it's just so much easier to organize it this way for myself. Plus, it also saves me time and money because I'm able to just pick up everything and I don't have to go in store, which honestly, a lot of times I will go into Walmart and do some browsing and maybe even pick up a few other items while I'm there. But for the most part, it definitely helps me save some time and money. And that is all I do for my Monday weekly cleaning routine. Okay, let's move to Tuesday. We are washing the sheets, cleaning the bedrooms, the playroom, and doing a grocery pickup. So first thing in the morning, I do my grocery pickup, especially if I am taking the kids to school that day, then I know that I'm going to go ahead and just schedule my pickup at like seven o'clock in the morning. They usually do an hour window, so I typically get there around eight, but I go ahead and pick it up, unload my groceries, put them all away, and we have our groceries for the week. Next on our cleaning checklist is the bedrooms for the day, and we also wash the sheets. Now, I typically wash 
my sheets one week and then do the kids bedding the next week because I only wash them every other week. But I did end up doing all of our bedding in one day for this video. And like I said, for this week, um, for the deep cleaning checklist, the zone two was the bedrooms and the playrooms. So I'm going to be doing some deep cleaning in the bedrooms this week. So some of the things that I'm cleaning today aren't necessarily things that I do every single week. Some of them are more monthly cleaning tasks like vacuuming our mattresses, dusting the fans, cleaning the windows. Those are all things that I typically do on a monthly basis and not every single week. So I'm starting with dusting the fans and I love this hack. We have this old pillowcase that's basically my fan dusting pillowcase. I take it and I throw it over the fan blade, wipe it down so that way all the dust falls into the pillowcase and not all over my mattress or all over the floor. And then I turn it inside out in the trash can so that way I can get whatever dust is kind of hanging on there and then I wash it and reuse it. I'm also vacuuming our mattresses today and I shared this little handheld vacuum in another video recently where I was vacuuming my couch, but I use this on our mattresses as well and it does a really good job of getting all of the dust mites or whatever is on the mattress. I'm always shocked of how much comes out, like you'll see the little um, dust canister in just a little bit when I get ready to empty it, but I'm always shocked at what all is on our mattress and headboard. Um, but it also has a blue light for disinfecting. So I love this thing. It's, um, I got it off of Amazon, so I'll make sure to link it in case you want something like this too. All right, now I have my little cleaning caddy with all my cleaning supplies to make it easy when I'm moving from room to room. And so the first thing that I'm doing is dusting. I love these little throwaway dusters that have the Febreze in them, so they smell really good. That was always like one of my biggest things on why I loved using a multi-purpose cleaner whenever I was dusting is because I love the fresh scent, especially after you get done cleaning, you just want it to smell good. And so when I found these dusters, I was like, okay, this is way faster than using a cleaner and a cloth. I'm dusting. It's all, you know, getting cleaned, but it also smells great too. So I highly recommend these. I just get them from Walmart. They're amazing. I still use a multi-purpose cleaner when I need to though. Also for my windows and for my mirrors, I'm using the Sprayway glass cleaner. That has been my go-to glass cleaner. I love that you can see it get clean. It leaves everything super streak free. Love that stuff. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though. Wanna hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. And I'm going to finish off the cleaning here in the bedroom with a quick vacuum. Next, I am just switching over my laundry. So I'm throwing the sheets in the dryer and throwing the comforter in my washing machine. Now, once my sheets were dry, I went ahead and put those on the bed, but you'll see my comforter took a little bit longer to dry, so I'll put that on later in the evening.
now we're headed up to the kids rooms and I'm going to do all the same cleaning tasks that I did in my bedroom here in their rooms. And just in case you're new here and you don't know, I do have two kids. I have Kaysen is my 12 year old son and then Gracie June is my 10 year old daughter. And I'm sure that you can probably tell throughout my videos, if you listen to me talk about my kids, they are my pride and joy and they definitely keep us busy. They are both very involved in sports and um, activities through school and their little social lives, but we would not have it any other way. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good Everyone has been telling me that you got me hood You're playing it big time, you're feeding me lies Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them, no reason Sometimes the truth is hard to see now, as I was cleaning in my daughter's room this day, I was just thinking about how much stuff she has. I could not wait to get all the Christmas stuff down, which will be in next week's video, but I also can't wait to help her declutter, declutter some clothes because she can barely fit anything in her drawers. Like they are packed full and most of it is like athletic wear, t-shirts, that kind of stuff. But I am so ready to declutter our entire house. It has just been, I actually got the itch before Christmas, but I was like, no, I'm going to wait till all the Christmas decor is down, all that's organized and put away, and then I'm going to start working through sections of my house. So in last week's video, I actually went through the laundry room and I went ahead and started in there because we were getting a new washer and dryer. And so while that was out, I was like, let's just go ahead and tackle the laundry room, get that, that space checked off of my declutter list. And so that was last week's video. If you didn't see it, be sure to go check it out. But I have a long list of spaces that I want to declutter and organize. So some of those spaces include the kids' rooms, their closets, all their clothes. I need to declutter our closet. It is a huge disaster right now, and I can't wait to get in there and clean that out. Also, we have a closet below our stairs, which we use as like a cleaning closet. I need to get in there and clean that out. There are just so many different spaces around my house that I just can't wait to get into. So I will definitely be filming all of that and kind of slowly going through that and taking you guys along with me in case you need some motivation or maybe some organization ideas. So be sure to stick around for all those upcoming videos. And I would love to hear from you guys if you're decluttering any spaces in your home this year, if you've already done it, or if it's on your to-do list, and which spaces you're looking forward to decluttering yourselves. Never, ever, ever, ever seem to be over, I saw her, so I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me, uh -oh. It's hard to see But now the never, ever, ever Seem to be over I saw her So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me Okay, now we're moving into the playroom and I'm gonna quickly clean in here. The kids have already picked up most of their mess, so 
Um, I'm just going through and tidying up and then I'll do some dusting and cleaning the windows. Now I did end up taking a few of the Christmas pieces out of here because they were just aggravating me. So I took those pieces and went and put them in our basket that goes in the attic. But the rest of the Christmas stuff I'll take down after Christmas. Now I love these little bean bags right here. Kaysen uses them all the time when he's playing games. He'll sit on the bean bags, but we have them filled with blankets and stuffed animals. So they're also a storage solution as well, which I got these off of Amazon. So I'll be sure to link those too. Lucky, lucky. All three rooms are cleaned, plus the playroom is clean, and now I'm going to quickly put our bedding on our bed. All right, we are moving to Wednesday, washing the towels and cleaning the bathrooms. So we have three bathrooms in our house. That was our guest bathroom. This is our master. And then this is the kids bathroom. So first I'm going around grabbing all the towels from the bathrooms and I'm going to go ahead and get that started in the washing machine. Everyone always keep falling in love again. And then the cleaning tasks are the same for all the bathrooms. I basically clean off the countertops, I'll dust the lights, wipe down the mirrors, wipe down the countertops, clean out the toilets, um, and then I'll wash the shower and the tub in our bathroom, and then the shower in the kids' bathroom. And then I typically only clean the shower in our guest bathroom once a month, just because nobody ever uses that bathroom. Well, they use the bathroom, they just don't use the shower. I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done on the drink at this page. to be someone else I would and like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious forget I'm made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this page So for my tub and shower, I love this scrubber. It's long. I don't have to bend over very far. It scrubs really well and it's electric. So it's like spinning. 
Um, but I am looking at getting a new one because I've seen that there's one on Amazon that you can make the pole shorter or longer, which I think sometimes, you know, it'd be nice to have a shorter pole. So I am looking into a new one. I'll let you guys know if I get one and which one I get whenever it happens. But I do love this thing. It comes with several different attachments and it definitely saves your back when it comes to cleaning your showers. I wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. So here you can see I'm using a scrub mommy sponge to clean the shower door, but this is where I feel like if I had a smaller handheld electric scrubber, it would work great. But I can't use the long one just because I'm in the shower and I can't like hold it back that far, if that makes sense. All right, now I'm going to do the floors. I'm just using my Tenko to vacuum and mop at the same time. If you do not have a vacuum mop combo, I highly recommend these. They, it has definitely cut my cleaning time in half when it comes to doing my floors. I used to have the older version of this vacuum. It was the Tenko i Floor 2. I feel like it does an amazing job. So if you're like a little skeptical about these and you want to start with something that's more affordable go with that one it does a really good job if you want to invest in one that's a little bit more high-tech then go with this one it's a great option too it's the iFloor 1s5 another product I highly recommend are these automatic trash cans you just wipe your hand over and it automatically opens these things are so great and I actually got one for all three bathrooms. I got the first one for our master bathroom and then ended up loving it so much that I put one in the other two bathrooms. Okay, so I was a little short on time today, so I did go clean the other two bathrooms. I just did not film it. It usually takes me about twice the time to film and clean than it does to just go ahead and get in there and clean really quick. So here's the guest bathroom all nice and clean and then the kids bathroom all nice and clean. I wish you could smell the bathrooms after they're cleaned through the camera because it just smells so good. And then on our checklist for Thursday, we have wash clothes, clean the entry and office, the dining room, the laundry room, and the floors. So basically for these spaces, I just do a quick tidy up. I wipe things down and dust. Now if it's a deep cleaning week, then I will do the windows, the fan blades, and all of that kind of stuff. Alright, so now that you have seen what all is on my weekly cleaning routine checklist, I would love to hear your thoughts, whether this is helpful or not. Also, don't forget, I do have another weekly cleaning checklist that does not have the days on it. It just has the task listed out. So if that routine does not work for you and you're not going to clean Monday through Thursday or maybe you want to switch up your days, you can still go through that checklist and get all of those cleaning tasks done with that checklist. Now on my checklist, I do not have any cleaning listed for Friday or even on the weekends. Fridays are going to be kind of my catch-up day, so if there are some things that I still need to get done throughout the week that I haven't gotten done for my weekly cleaning checklist or laundry, because I typically am always behind on laundry or at least putting it away. So Friday will be kind of my um, 
catch up day and I'll spend whatever amount of time I have available to just catch up on any cleaning tasks that I missed throughout the week. And I'll be honest, I do not clean on the weekends. Now we pick up after ourselves when it comes to like the kitchen and all of that. But for the most part, I take the weekends off or we're pretty much gone all the time anyways, like at tournaments or doing something, I don't know, outside of the house. So I don't really have the time to clean on the weekends anyway. So that just gets left for Monday. And then Monday is usually a lot of picking up because I refuse to do anything over the weekend. All right, so that is going to be it for today's video. I hope it was helpful and gave you some ideas. Even if this checklist does not work for you, hopefully it can help you come up with something that maybe would work more towards your schedule. Now, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and come back next Sunday for my after Christmas cleanup and organization. We'll be taking all the Christmas stuff down. I know that it's a little bit later and some of, most of you probably already have all your Christmas decor down, but it'll still be motivational and hopefully give you some organizing ideas for next Christmas or even for other holidays. Thank you so, so much for being here and spending your time with me. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I've played my part. I'm hurting you as well.